coffee beans. How's it brewing? Today we'll be featuring a resin fail. I'm new to resin crafting and still learning the tricks of the trade, so I hope you watch this and can learn from my mistakes. I hope my failure leads to your success. Today we're going to be making another cute shaker charm using the silicone game console Maze Mold from the December Sophie and Toffee Elves box. I already made an awesome Game Boy Advance bag charm with this mold, featuring Link to the Past, so make sure to check that out too. I'll put a link in the description. For today's video, we'll be using this silicone game console mold with Sophie and Toffee UV resin, Sophie and Toffee crystal LED UV resin in purple, Sophie and Toffee transparent pigment dye in pink, purple mystic fairy holographic glitter, stainless steel ball bearings, glow in the dark sequins, and the star of the show, Pusheen! My husband got us a Pusheen calendar for 2020 and it came with these awesome stickers. This was actually my first attempt at using this mold. Yes, this was my tester before the Game Boy Advance shaker. I knew I wanted the maze walls to be clear and the outside colorful, but I wasn't sure how to accomplish that without the colors bleeding into each other. So I thought it'd be best to put tape around the maze wall edges and to then pour the clear resin in. So taping it was mistake number one and using the blue painter's tape was mistake number two. When it was finished curing, the tape left residue on the resin. Blah. I poured the clear resin in slowly to make sure it was in all of the maze walls with no air bubbles and then coated the top in another thin layer. I dropped the mold lightly on the table and tilted it around a few times to make sure everything was evenly coated with minimal bubbles. But it also caused the resin to leak out under the tape. Mistake number three. Then I cured it for several minutes. After I managed to get the tape off, I added pink pigment dye and purple glitter to some clear resin and stirred. Then I poured the pink mixture into my mold, carefully avoiding the clear maze walls. I love how hot pink it turned out. I'm definitely going to be using this pigment and glitter combination for another project. I cured it a second time, but I think I cured it for too long? So mistake number four? As you can see, the resin shrank away from the mold, but I still needed to add details, which ended up looking a little lumpy as a result. After it was cured, I painted some resin onto the clear maze portion and placed my Pusheen sticker onto it face down. I just love Pusheen so much. Mistake number five. I covered the entire back in the leftover sparkly pink resin mixture. This seems like a good decision, but the pink mixture was too transparent and the back of the sticker was really obvious. In the future, I'll dome the back in a more opaque color to cover my stickers. All right, demolding time. Despite all my issues, she turned out really well. You can see Pusheen really well and the pink color makes me smile. Next, I added some details with the purple UV resin. I forgot the purple resin is crystal clear, duh. So it wasn't showing up very well on top of the pink. Mistake number six. But I added some pink and purple heart glitter and created a dome over those with the purple UV resin. Continuing with the same glitter, I added more pastel embellishments to the start and select buttons, the command buttons, and the small detail on the lower left corner that I call the speaker. I domed all of those in more of the purple UV resin as well before curing the entire thing. Then I added three metal ball bearings and a bunch of the glow in the dark sequins before tracing and cutting shaker film to size. Also, my husband pointed out that one of my metal ball bearings can't escape its corner of the maze. So be careful not to put your ball in the northeast and southwest corners of your maze. Yes, I went all directional on you and yes, that was indeed mistake number seven. Then I painted on a thin layer of UV resin before placing my shaker film on top and curing it with my UV flashlight. I ended up deciding to not fill it with baby oil and to instead leave it as a dry shaker. I really enjoy the sound of the ball bearings and sequins moving around. For me, it has sort of an ASMR feel to it. Here's the finished piece! As you can see, I attempted to cover up the back of the Pusheen sticker with some more stickers and my infamous star glitter, but I definitely should have just left it how it was, or painted it with acrylic paint. Mistake number eight. But I'm still really happy with how it turned out. It's not a piece of jewelry or a bag charm, 
Instead, I keep it at my desk at work and play with it when I'm bored or as a fidget toy. What do you think? Despite all of my fails, how do you think it turned out? What would you have done differently? I'd really love to hear. Comment below or use hashtag BunnyDIY on Instagram, and I'll give you a shout out in my next video. This week's shout outs go to Geek Girl on Wheels, Nezreen A, and Samantha Newell. Thank you so much for your love and support, guys. I really love hearing from you every week. Thanks. Don't forget to click the like button and to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks, everyone. Love you a latte.